Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to talk about an article from Steve Reeves on his arm training program. And this article appeared in Your Physique magazine and is titled Bigger and Better Arms. Now Steve Reeves won the Mr. America in 1947 and there he is posing with Alan Steven and he's holding his trophy and he is said to have started a series of articles after winning the Mr. America title and this is the first of many articles that he wrote for his body part training. As I mentioned the source of this particular material that I'm offering is from, from my own collection. Uh, this is from Your Physique, April 1948. As it says there, Mr. America 1947 on the right hand side. Steve Reeves tells you how I developed my arms. Steve's tips uh, for arm development involve um, really basic uh, I guess very basic knowledge um, one should use a full range of motion and that is full extension and contraction with every movement this allows the bicep to be developed to its fullest and to develop that long full look this is reminiscent of what Larry Scott used to say arm development in Steve's opinion deserves special attention because it is one of the body parts that is most obvious when seen in public and for him the rep range that worked the best was 8 to 12 reps. Now the exercises that Steve used to develop his physique for the Mr. America 1947 contest included the Zotman curl which he believes is the best Barnan exercise for developing the full long bicep and Although these images don't necessarily show him performing it, uh, as in performing the Zotman curl, if you look it up online on YouTube, you can see a demonstration of how it is performed, although many people don't perform it properly even on YouTube. Essentially, it is a circular movement. Uh, actually, if you look for Zotman curl Garonda, probably you'll find the best uh, version of it because it should be a circular motion where the arm is supinated up and then uh, pronated as it comes down, as the dumbbell comes down. So on contraction it would be a supination on, um, on extension or on the eccentric version uh, or section of the, of the curl on the way down the arm is pronated but this is done in a circular motion and alternating one arm to the other. Perhaps I'll have to do a video demonstration of the exercise. Uh, another exercise that was a favorite of Steve Reeves was the incline bench curl done on a 45 degree angled bench as shown here. Uh, for tricep development uh, uh, Steve Reeves favored the standing dumbbell French press as seen here although he used to do it with one arm and sometimes with uh, so as in one arm with one arm uh, for each dumbbell or he would grab one dumbbell a heavier dumbbell and perform it with both hands on one dumbbell another favorite of his was the lying one arm tricep extension across the body couldn't find any images of Steve Reeves doing this exercise but I found a nice image of Arnold doing them. Uh, they're also called cross face tricep extensions. Um, the particular program that he used was the Zotman curl followed by the incline bench curl followed uh, by tricep exercises, the standing dumbbell French press and the lying tricep extension. All these were done for three sets for eight to 12 reps. If you've enjoyed watching the video, uh, please give it a like, thumbs up, and uh, thank you for watching. If you uh, want to leave me some comments, please do subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.